Okay, Greg Pickle, we had a little bit of a recruiting news last week. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was a surprise or not to you, but Penn State is now uh, down a verbal. They were at 20, now they're at 19 with the news that defensive lineman Christian Cologne yeah. uh, has decided he's not going to go to Penn State. Uh, a, did it surprise you? And B, what do you read into maybe his decision? Yeah, it surprised me at the time it happened. Obviously, it was late last Thursday night. It, it didn't seem to make sense at the time. As more information came out, it, it doesn't really come as a surprise at all. The Charlotte Observer reported that he's no longer on his high school team. There appears to be some disciplinary or off-field issues there. And from the, if you read it, you know, the, the what makes sense, you know, Penn State moved on after learning of whatever these issues were. So I think that's sort of where things stand there. I'm not sure what other schools he's looking at, but uh, I don't think there'll ever be a rekindling of the fire between uh, Christian Cologne and Penn State. Do you think it's possible that maybe Penn State sent him a strong signal that, you know, after learning what you just talked yeah. about being off the team, that maybe he was going to have to jump over a couple of fences mm -hmm. before he got to Penn State in their mind. Yeah, a lot of times that's what happens. You know, and we don't uh, we don't are right. privy to the whole situation. His high school coach is refusing comment. He's refusing comment. So for all we know, th this has been an ongoing situation, and yeah. the kicked off the team was the proverbial straw. Um, I'm not sure if that was the case, but yeah, I think either way, he was probably told that he had to do X, Y, and Z right. if he wanted to be a Penn State Nittany yeah. Lion. And, and what he either decided he didn't want to do that, or he didn't do X, Y, and Z, and that what resulted in him leaving the program. Now, one quick follow-up with you, Greg. He is a defensive tackle. That is a priority position. Yeah. I mean, I think there's a real good chance Anthony Zettel is, is obviously, his, his eligibility is up after the fall. Uh, the way that Austin Johnson's playing, I, I'd be stunned yeah. if he returned for another year. It's an area of need. On a scale of 1 to 10, how big does this loss kind of impact the program. Yeah, I don't think it's as big a deal as maybe some would think it is. Penn State's done a pretty good job of recruiting this position over the last couple of recruiting cycles, and and I know that Robert Windsor, you know, everyone will say he's the only defensive tackle, but one of one if not two of Buckholt, Brian Buckholz and Kim Quante Carter will slide inside, right. so that sort of take some pressure off things. They have Ellison Jordan, they have Michael Dwumfor in this class. So I, I think they're doing just fine there. Uh, and I think that obviously they would have liked to have Christian Cologne in this class, but they'll get by with that. Yeah. Now, whenever a kid decommits from Penn State, I think the fan, fan base begins to get nervous about yeah. well, what's coming next. I think we talked about it a little bit uh, in an earlier video, but uh, in your mind, are there any kids that are committed to Penn State yeah. that could kind of for whatever reason, yeah. decide to not come to Penn State? And who are the kids maybe that, that fans should be kind of maybe be, be a little bit nervous about maybe changing their minds? Yeah, the three that have always been on the fence, at least over the last month, have been Quinn Norton, the kicker for Michigan, another Michigan kid, the corner, uh, LaVert Hill, and then Miles Sanders, the running back out of Pittsburgh. I think that they're probably in pretty rough shape with Norton. He's been the been entertaining Michigan now for some time, and sort of the same with Hill. His brother plays there. You know, it's a very family-oriented uh, sort of deal there with him. And he has to decide whether he wants to sort of go out on his own or follow in his brother's footsteps. And, yeah. you know, obviously he's going to have to make that decision with his family. I think Penn State will keep Sanders. I do. I mean, obviously he'll probably visit there a couple times, and there'll be some hand-wringing until signing day. I will be very surprised if they keep Hill and Norton, if they got one of them. I think it would be a win. And I wouldn't be surprised if both ended up at Michigan. The only thing Penn State has going in its favor with those guys going looking at Michigan is that their class is really tight on numbers and mm -hmm. they have a scholarship kicker so that may help Penn State when all said and done but uh, we've seen situations that appear one way and go the other before darn that Jim Harbaugh and his khaki <laughs> pants all right that's it on the recruiting